welcome back to the channel you guys welcome back to ironclad rc uh today we're going to be programming the dynamite 120 okay this is the stock esc and the velez and the ul19 uh gonna use a program box i'm gonna walk you guys through the steps uh some of the programming items and we're gonna actually talk about delta and why wind motors timing for each okay uh so stick around you guys big b with ironclad rc You're going to need a dynamite speed control okay now dynamite has a dynamite program box that goes with the speed control you could also use a hobby wing program box okay the blue program box the red program box will not work for the marine escs trust me i've tried <laughs> so uh the blue program box all right uh you'll also need a g j s t female to female connector okay um, you can actually use your lipo battery to power the ESC and your program box or you can use a external power bank okay it's basically two or four double A's with a JST connector that's gonna actually plug in to this port that's your power side if you're using the external battery and if you're not going to use the external battery then you use a lipo battery okay with the jst plugged in only to this side okay i'll show you here in just a second uh, when you go into programming mode with your program box i don't think you can do it with your remote on you you may be able to but i usually keep mine off while i'm programming the esc so for the dynamite speed control you basically only have four programmable items you have running mode lipo cell low voltage cutoff and timing okay and then you have each parameter for that parameter you feel me all right and uh when you're programming your esc you simply just pull off this little boot right here that's going to expose a trio of prongs you basically just plug in your jst i mean i guess it really doesn't matter you can kind of switch the polarity back and forth until you get the right polarity okay so uh you'll actually plug your jst into the esc now you plug it into your program box okay you'll see it's the one that you have three you know you have your signal your positive and your ground like i said this one's for your external battery supply so we're just going to plug it in and hope we got the polarity right okay so um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my my camera on the stand and I will plug in a battery so basically I'm just going to use a four cell battery nothing fancy here all right and uh, you just plug it in okay you should see uh, numbers pop up on your your program box I have my polarity the right way okay so i'm actually going to switch it around for you guys so you see what happens okay because it really doesn't matter you're not going to mess anything up when you switch it around you don't get any power okay so if you don't if you have it hooked up to your esc and your program box you're not getting power either switch the polarity on your box or you could switch the polarity on the esc either one it doesn't really matter okay so uh we're actually going to have to unplug it and plug it back in okay you guys see that when you have a bunch of blink like blank lines you need to unplug it plug it back in okay and then then our values pop up okay so our first value is running mode okay you have an optional forward only and then you go to two forward and reverse okay i'm gonna pick forward and reverse so I'm going to hit OK. That saves that that program. Our next one is cell count. I'm not going to switch that. Auto calculate is what I have it on. That's the first parameter. Low voltage cutoff. Okay. None is the first pro parameter. 2.8 is the second. 3.0 is the third. 2.3 is the fourth. I have it on the fourth at 2.3. Uh, we're going to just save it. Now we're going to go to our fourth parameter. Now this is what I get the most questions about. Timing. Okay, timing. You have uh, zero timing is your first parameter. Okay, that's our first parameter. 3.75, 7.50 
eleven point two five, fifteen, eighteen point seven five, twenty two point five zero, and twenty six point two five. Now the higher the timing, typically it will give you a higher RPM for your motor. Okay, it gives you higher RPM at less torque. Okay, the lower the the timing, you typically get more torque with less higher RPM. You feel me? So if you're running a delta wind motor, which is what I have in my boat, a delta wind, you have Y wind and delta wind. If you're running a delta wind motor, typically you want your timing from zero to like five. Okay, really no higher than five on delta winds. You can run higher than five degrees timing with a delta wind motor. You can, but but you're typically going to see higher temperatures uh, in your ESC. Okay, um, well, you, you probably see higher temperatures for both. Okay, with Y wind motors, you typically go from like 7 to 15, 7 to 17. Okay, uh, if you're trying for like speed, you know, um, you can actually make an exception to the rule. Okay, at like a delta 0 to 5. Okay, if you're trying for speed, go for like 7.5 tops. You know, watch your temps. Anytime you do a temperature, uh, a, a timing change, watch your temps. Okay, because for, for every action, there's an equal opposite reaction. Okay, uh, you, you got signals coming from your ESC to your motor, back and forth, back and forth, to send the signals to each other, or it, the motor's re receiving signals, or whatever, vice versa. I don't freaking know. I don't care. It'll, you know, it'll fire on the stator at different times, and if you have the timing off, you're going to get more heat. You know what I'm saying? So, um, just a rule of thumb, delta wind, 0 to 5, wide wind, uh, 7.5, 15. General, general rule of thumb. Okay. Delta wind motor, I'm going to go with option number 2, 3.75. That's kind of a happy medium. Um, our, uh, per, per, like right here. Okay, I, with this delta wind motor, I wouldn't go any higher than 7 point. Five oh, that's just me, okay. And if I do go higher with this delta Y motor, I'm gonna watch my temps, okay. So, um, you know, I'm gonna probably use these three now. If it was a Y wind, I would probably go from seven five to like uh 18 tops. You feel me? Like those four, you feel me? And then for the delta, those three, I, I you know. I've tried 11.25 on a Delta Y motor. I really didn't see a big difference. You know, uh, timing on a motor, it's not really like punch. You know what I'm saying? It's not like punch. You're not going to, like, like feel it, feel it, like, see it, like, when you give it trigger, you know. Uh, it's more for um, top end, you know, type. Yeah, you'll feel a little bit. You'll see a couple extra mile an hour, but it's not like a magic freaking uh, deal. You know what I'm saying? The timing on your motor, so... Uh, in a nutshell, in a nutshell. So uh, hopefully you guys kind of got the gist of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, yeah. So that's how basically how you use it. You know, and then you have to make sure you save it. Okay, I saved it, and then I can run through my parameters again, make sure they're right. Okay, okay. So I got that. Number two is auto calculate. Number three is 3.2 volts per cell, and four I got 3.75 for timing. We're going to save it, okay? Unplug it, boom, boom, boom. All right, then you just unplug your battery, turn your transmitter on, okay? Just like normal, boom, boom, boom. You're ready to freaking roll, okay? Pretty simple. I, I made it hard, but I get a lot of questions about timing. You know, you know, like, I'm like you guys. You know, I'm, I'm learning this stuff just like you do, okay? Every day, it's a learning experience for me because, you know, I run my boats every day. I try to get you guys videos every day. I'm always reading forums, articles, anything I can. You know, boat information, information about RC boating, it's like few and far between. So everything I freaking learn, I have to like uh, dig. I have to dig for it, you know, try to get that info out of uh, ver the very limited resources we have available for RC boats. So, you know... Um, if I got something wrong, correct me. Correct me in the comments. You know, hell, I'm only human. I'm only human. So um, hopefully it helped you guys out. Programming, timing type deal, you know. So uh, we'll see you next time. Big B, Ironclad RC.